habit at least once a year to gather with our sisters and brothers who believe that violence perpetrated against another is not all right. And we're just so delighted that you chose to give up your part of your day to be with us and to allow us to include you in the celebration of survivors and in the honoring the memory of those we've lost. This year we decided it would be fitting to uh, bring with our message of nonviolence the educational component that domestic violence happens to women of all ages, all races, all ethnicities, all religious bents, all socioeconomic statuses. So um, this is an opportunity for us to um, celebrate the diversity within our sisterhood and the diversity within our community. And we're so pleased that our partner and one of the driving forces to today's program is the Little River Band of Ottawa Indians. The Little River Band has made a presence in this community and is providing significant services to the native populations in our community. And we're grateful to them for their service. We're also grateful to the resources that they bring to this celebration and uh, for honoring us with some of their native ceremonies. And so I'd like to present Bill Mimberto, um, who will speak to this ceremony and provide us with some historical background on it so that we may participate in ways that are meaningful to all of us. Thank you for coming, Bill. Uh, we're here today to uh, really make a focus on uh, family viol or violence, domestic violence especially, and family violence. Uh, as a tribe and as people, we understand that uh, very, very acutely in the sense that uh, we've uh, suffered in many respects what we uh, refer to as a genocidal type of process with our people here. And when we talk about these things, they're difficult things to talk about. So what we always want to be able to reflect on is we need to also reflect and clear our minds about these things. And this smudging is really kind of a process that helps us focus, helps us get away from that negativity in the process that sometimes is still there with us, that anger, that self-anger, other things that may come to us due to the fact that we've either participated in or we've been victims of violence. And so we wanted to start this off with this little smudging ceremony for everybody. We use sage. Uh, for our people, sage, uh, sweetgrass, cedar, and kanikanik, or tobacco, they are the four major, or four medicines, or four elements, uh, sacred elements in our tribe. And we use them in our ceremonial process. 